Are you frustrated by the no-frame available for media out message haunting your DaVinci Resolve projects? In today's tutorial, we'll uncover why this error appears and show you how to banish that pesky message for good. Welcome back. Let's start by adding this lower third. To demonstrate what happens before the fix, let's move to the Edit tab. Here, you'll see the message No Frame Available for Media Out 1. This will appear until after you export your video. To remove it, we'll need to return to the Fusion page. We only need to remove Media Out 1. Once you return to the Edit tab, you'll see that it's gone. Let me explain why the message No Frame Available for Media Out 1 might appear in your DaVinci Resolve project. Now, let's go back to the Fusion page. If you open keyframes and check the nodes, you'll notice that the lower third has its media out. If you undo an action, you might end up with two media out nodes and one Fusion composition, one being the original and the other being the duplicate. So whenever you see the no frame available for media out one message in your DaVinci Resolve project, just check the media out nodes and delete any duplicate media out and that'll fix the issue. That's it for today's tutorial. We've explored the cause behind the no frame available for media out message in DaVinci Resolve and demonstrated how to eliminate duplicate media out nodes to keep your project clean and error free. I hope this helps streamline your workflow when working in Fusion. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and follow or subscribe for more DaVinci Resolve tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or run into any issues, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, until next time, happy editing.